Welcome back to London Stadium in advance of the Cubs and Cardinals. We're pleased to be joined by Cubs skipper David Ross. All right. It's almost like a, it's a business trip, but it's a little bit of a vacation too, right? Yeah, yeah. We, I want the guys to have a good time. We, we've uh, we've stressed that. Our owner threw a nice party last night. Uh, got to hang out, dress up. A lot of family here, a lot of organizations here. People are taking it in, but uh, it'll be all business come tomorrow night when when uh, when they uh, we press play on this this series. And you know, big rivalry over there. Cardinals, one of the legends over here to the left, uh, and D Row. You know. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna have a good time. Did you fight the jet lag? And the water and the hydration, how'd that go? We've been we've, we've been kind of stressing that for a couple days, yeah. and, and our guys have been walking us through all that, the sleep. Uh, it was nice. I have my, my six-year-old daughters here. Uh, we walked the city. We landed, uh, just hydrated all day, uh, just tried to get some sleep, damn as late as possible. Fell asleep probably last night, 11. Feel, feel pretty good today, so uh, I'm glad I don't have to hit anymore, but uh, I feel all right. <laughs> All right, Kyle Hendricks has recently come back, but you've lined this up. You got your two big dogs on in line, Justin Steele, Marcus Stroman. What is your expectations from them? And then prior to us coming on, you talked about your bullpen's been really stepping up. Yeah, bullpen's been better. I think part of our you know run we've been on, we've, we've leveled some things out offensively. We're swinging the bats better. Um, Merriweather, uh, Julian's done a really nice job in the seventh. It's kind of turned it over to the lighter and, and Adbert uh, on the back end. And uh, our pitching, our, our stars have been our staple. Uh, yeah. Stroh, and, and we just got uh, Steele back the other day. He was kind of on the aisle for a little bit, bounced back. He looked uh, fresh and normal. So so, yeah, just going with our big dog, staying on turn and uh, with Strowman, and, and then we'll realign when we get back home. Right, Dave, you were talking earlier that you guys are playing better. A guy that I want to really, I want you to talk about is Christopher Morel. You know, a young player that brings so much energy to the ball club. Can you talk a little bit about it? Yeah, he plays with a passion. His story's pretty unique, and, and his perspective on baseball and life, really, in general, uh, is just so refreshing. He's such a good kid, plays with a lot of energy. Uh, I say a lot of times, when you see certain guys play across the field, like uh, Lindor, for example, just plays with a smile on their face, looks like baseball's enjoyable. Christopher Morel's just like that. Uh, tons of pop, real thunder in the bat. He's electric. Uh, we can move him all over. Uh, we're trying to find a spot for him here Soon, just an everyday spot, but uh, it's an electric bat, and he's in there and, and can can change the game with one swing. He, he's fun to watch. He brings a lot of energy to our young guys. You obviously got the Cardinals here for the next two. You've recently played the Pirates. You played the Reds. This division, uh, I mean, it's anyone's guess right now. Where are you on kind of the where the Cubs fit in the landscape of the NL Central? Yeah, it was just nice to be playing better baseball and start to, to get on a little streak. We just finished with the Pirates, played really well with them. Uh, we had them six games in nine days. Uh, we're able to win some games from them, and then we had Baltimore in, in the middle there. And we've been playing playing really well, and things have kind of uh, leveled out for us. Played the Reds before that; they're a good ball club. No secret, they're uh, on a hot streak. They're they're well rounded. They got some good young talent. Um, Milwaukee obviously is uh, off to a great start early on, and they've kind of slowed things down with some injuries they've had. Um, it's, it is anybody's, but you know I'm a big in-house. Let's take care of what we can control and uh, make sure we're playing our good brand of baseball. We're doing that right now, so that's all I care about. We were looking, David, at the the pitching matchup and Dero said Justin Steele it's exactly who you'd want starting one of these games I don't know if any of us would have said that a year ago who's has he surprised you and who surprised you the most yeah I think I think he he has just been so consistent since the middle of last year and finding um, his release point you know he's gonna he's gonna pound right he's in gonna gonna aim for that down and in glove side heater and the slider works off that and it just plays guys don't see him well they get off the barrel uh, it plays up and you try to get in there or they try to cheat a little bit there's rollovers there, there's pop-ups uh, he's been really consistent and um, it's a simple plan he's going to do him and it's been really successful and so that's what I love so much about him he's just a, a young man from Alabama and keeps it simple and I love that about him he's just going to go in there and pitch his games had a lot of success had an adjust for anybody all right put yourself behind the plate I know you've done it many times you're playing in this series and this, and this no, no, no. beast <laughs> is coming to the plate. What are we putting down? How did we even try and attack this monster? <laughs> well, my whole, <laughs> my theory was like, pitch him away, play him away. If we walk him, who cares? If he gets a base hit to right, who cares? Sweet. I don't want him going deep. I didn't want him going to Big Mac land out in St. Louis. Um, that was kind of my approach. I, I could tell a funny story all the time. I got home after the playoffs. I, I, I was so scared when we got to the playoffs in 13 with the Red Sox because the Cardinals had sent me home every year up until then. And we finally pulled one out. But, um, you know, I, I get home from a 
the playoffs, they knocked me out once again. I played a charity softball tournament. Some of the other team was ragging me, like, hey, you can't do this, you can't do that. It's like, but I'm not worried about you. I tried to get out Albert Pujols for, <laughs> for a whole series. That's pretty tough. That's a little tougher than our beer league softball game. Oh, David, man. you look handsome, but when Dero was going to guide the WBC, that was his number one fear. You have to look the part. Aging. He you said, I have to look the part. My uniform has to cut right, and I'm worried about managing <laughs> aging me. How do you make sure that that does not happen? Well, I, I don't know that I do a good job of that. You look, I was telling Albert before, like, when you're done playing, you don't have to deal with the over fours we were talking about. And I had a lot more than he did, obviously. But um, I think managing, you stay, you, you lose sleep at night because all, somebody's always struggling. Things yeah. aren't going smooth. I mean, wins are the only thing that, talk to Jim, Jim Leland in Pittsburgh, wins are your only saving grace. There's a lot of guys that somebody's mad about not playing or pitching well or somebody's scuffling at the plate. Um, you try to try to get as much sleep as you can and, and just stay true to your processes. But I really like the beard and how it's coming in. It looks pretty <laughs> epic. Uh, a little salt in there like we like it. This show. All right. I know Mama at home is happy. <laughs> She's kind of on the fence with it, which is shocking. <laughs> here, we, here we go. All right. I usually ask a breakfast question. All right. But tell the world who you ran into in your hotel today. Tom Cruise was there. Get it. No. What? what? No way. Get it. Wait, no what'd you way. say? Hey, well, he asked for my autograph. <laughs> okay. Now I got to go to That's work. That's a great but, start uh, on your day right there. <laughs> I didn't. He was that. Yeah, we got. We're, Pretty nice hotel here we're at, so it's uh, gets a super high end. We're in a good spot. I didn't say anything. I met him in LA as a player for a second, but yeah, he was head down and, and walking in. So pretty, pretty cool. cool. Pretty cool he's point. got. Uh, I think he's promoting his film, Mission Impossible, or something. Jump so. on the couch. Mission definitely possible for the Chicago Cubs. There we go. There you go. Hey, good luck to, uh, to you and the Cubs. Enjoy your stay in London. That was a good rap, bro. bro, bro. Thanks. I appreciate <laughs> he's a it. Professional, David. professional, David. I mean, multi-time Emmy Award winner oh right here. Oh my gosh. Here. here we go. That's Cubs skipper David Ross. <laughs>